Assalamu alaikum guys, hope you're well and hope you're having a great day. Alhamdulillah, my day has been amazing and especially with the incredible weather that we are having recently. So I thought, why not show you my favourite salad that I absolutely enjoy. So first up is Fatouche, but before I begin, do subscribe and press that bell icon. First, we're making the tahini. You can just buy this in the superstores, but homemade is just another level. So I'm adding one cup of sesame seeds. So heat on low to medium, and we're cooking the sesame seeds until they become light brown. So do keep an eye on them because they are prone to burn really quickly. So these are now done, and I'm going to add all this into a blender. Blend this until it all comes together and we'll show you now what it looks like. This is the texture that we're looking for and I'm just going to clean up the edges. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and four or five tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to blend all this together until it becomes a smooth paste. This is what it looks like and I did add three more tablespoons after this so that it becomes a more runnier paste. I will show you the texture later on, so let's move on to the salad. We need a bowl to begin with and the ingredients are listed in the description. Adding some lettuce, cucumbers and tomatoes with the seeds, some radish and also red onion. Now adding some mint leaves and olives and can we just appreciate this bowl right now the colors are incredible so we're leaving the bowl on the side for a bit now with the pit of bread we are going to toast this and it should turn out like so so you can just toast in the oven if you like but i used a flat pan and fed the kids one of the pit of bread got that out of the way in a small bowl or plate add a quarter cup of olive oil now a quarter teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now adding salt and black pepper to taste. Now adding one teaspoon of white vinegar. Give that a good mix and leave this aside. Now onto a yogurt sauce and for that we need three tablespoons of yogurt. Amazing tahini that we just made and this is the texture that I was talking about so the more olive oil you add that's the texture you will get so yeah I've added two tablespoons of that now squeezing out half a lemon well trying to squeeze out but yeah black pepper to taste I added about quarter teaspoon and a bit of salt and give it all a good mix this salad honestly is so flavorsome it's amazing, you can have it alone, you can have it with a side dish, it's incredible. Time to assemble. So adding the olive oil mixture in the salad. Give that a good mix, the smell is so insane. Now adding the toasted pit of bread, which I've cut in small squares. So now I will just sprinkle a bit of sumac on top like so and this sumac actually I bought from the local Asian shop so now I will show you how I plate this up so salad to begin with the yogurt sauce that we just made and a bit of dill just to give it some aroma and colour so this fatouche is now ready and let's move on to the next salad so next up is the Russian salad and this is my mum's favourite, she absolutely loves it. It's full of flavour and usually in Pakistan we see it in wedding ceremonies and also in restaurants. In a pan I am adding some boiled water, just enough to boil some vegetables. So in the boiled water I am adding one medium potato which I've cut in cubes. 
also one carrot which I've cut in cubes and I'm going to boil this so I'm going to boil this for about five minutes heat off and this is now done I'm going to drain the water out so in the bowl I have cold water I'm going to leave the potato and carrot in this for about eight minutes so on the meantime let's prepare our salad adding half a cup of double cream or five tablespoons and now adding five tablespoons of mayonnaise now adding one and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper salt to taste and two tablespoons of sugar or as desired So now I'm adding pineapple, I got the pineapple tin and used about 4 slices and cut them in cubes and one small apple, some walnuts as well and some raisins and finally some pomegranate just to give it that extra taste, give that all a good mix and you possibly actually most likely will give it a cheeky taste as well because it's so tempting and now add your potato and carrot and mix all that really gently and we are done so just to give it an extra colour and taste I've added black pepper on top so finalizing this dish with the pomegranate on top and that's it this Russian salad is now made um, do refrigerate for about 30 minutes and then it is ready to serve up is this chicken salad it is healthy amazing for this weather and definitely a very good idea for meal preps the best thing about this is you can just leave it in the fridge eat it whenever you like so let's go and see how we make this In a bowl add three tablespoons of yogurt i'm just adding the plain yogurt one and a quarter teaspoon of paprika powder one teaspoon of salt or to taste one teaspoon of cumin and coriander powder and a teaspoon of garam masala and i've added half a teaspoon of red chili powder you can add more if you like and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of olive oil mix all this really well and then we're going to be adding our chicken breast I had two chicken breast um, but because they were a bit thicker I cut them from, from the middle and that's why I have four pieces which is kind of good because my child absolutely loves chicken so mix this really well and I'm going to marinate this for about 30 minutes so let's make the yogurt sauce here I have three tablespoons of yogurt now adding half a lemon now adding two tablespoons of the homemade tahini black pepper to taste and some salt as well finally some dill herbs and mix well I had a little incident earlier hence the plaster I was trying to hide that but clearly I cannot <laughs> time to cook the chicken I've added one tablespoon of oil you can just use a spray oil just depends on your diet requirement and now on low to medium here I'm going to cook this marinated chicken until they are golden in color so do turn them occasionally because that will then stop them from sticking So these chicken breasts do not take long at all it literally took me about 10 minutes to cook and yeah they're lovely juicy and so tender and now let's prepare our salad so lettuce cucumber and tomatoes i've added some olives and some olive oil now add salt and black pepper to taste 
and also some toasted bread so let's plate this beauty up and now adding the chicken pieces just adding the yogurt sauce on top and this is now ready to serve please thumbs up if you like this video do share with your family and friends until next time a love is.